50-year-old patient walks in the office and they say, all right, what's my main question? What should I ask? My answer would be, you know, it's not necessarily about your individual numbers. It's about your overall level of absolute risk. You know, you have to look at all your risk factors and come up with an idea of what your total risk for a heart attack is or a stroke in the next decade or even beyond. Uh, and as far, as far as what we do to address that risk, from a lifestyle standpoint, you know, we don't need any other testing to decide if you should eat healthy. We don't need any other testing to decide if you should smoke or not. We know those recommendations already. The lifestyle stuff kind of takes care of itself. They're generalized recommendations. But for people that are still at elevated risk, there's uncertainty. Then we should think about should we treat those medications with uh, traditional medications or should we get more risk information before making that decision? I think that's kind of the basic concept that we're going after right now.